Yes, I'm Jeffrey Lisa Charbet. I'm running for county commissioner. And uh, boy, am I glad you're here, because it means that you care about this election, and it means you care about this county, which I do too. Um, I, I love living here. I've only been here back here for a few years from Alaska, but I was born in Yakima, I went to Grandview High School, I went to Central Washington University, and then I went to Alaska for a bunch of years um, where I learned a lot of skills that I'm happy to bring back here to you now. I've been in construction for my whole life, uh, from a framer to a superintendent to a project manager. I was the project manager of the largest recycling center in Alaska. And then I went on to run the operations side of that for many years and did enjoy that. Um, and then I got into forestry, um, started as a wildland firefighter, um, moved into the state fire warehouse where we send people and materials out on fires. Uh, we were an integral part of the big fires that you've had here, um, what's that, three years ago, right before I came back. We were sending a lot of people and uh, equipment from there for your fire. And um, I experienced working with city and county budgets and speaking to legislators. Uh, at home in our nation's capital. I'd like to go to DC at least once a year and get in front of our legislators because I believe that when you speak to them in person, they hear you in a way that they maybe don't uh, otherwise. Um, I believe it's always important experience to bring to this office, um, but what will I do for you? I will listen to you and I will answer your questions and I will help you uh, to the best of my ability and if for some reason I can't help you or I can't do what you need, you will know why. I'll explain to you exactly why. And because I believe you deserve that. A lot of times I think people feel very dismissed um, and I don't want that for you. I want you to feel represented. I will um, always act in your best interest. And my idea with a lot of things is uh, when we can, creating roundtable discussions so people all feel included you know, in whatever happens. I mean, nobody's ever going to win, you know, all the time. You're going to get your way sometimes and not the rest of the time. But at least if there's a roundtable discussion, you'll feel like you were heard. And we can come to kind of an inclusive consensus. Um, I will also keep you informed of all commissioner actions so that you know what's going on in your county. Um, it doesn't happen a lot. And I think a lot of people don't even know what commissioners do sometimes. And for those of you that don't know, I'll just say that they're kind of the presidents, the CEOs of the county, responsible for every dollar that's spent. Everyone answers to them, you know, assessor, treasurer, everybody that you see, you know, answers to the commissioners. And then on top of that, commissioners act as a, a three-member judge and jury over certain instances of property rights things, different things that come up. Um, so it's a very important job. It's probably will affect your life in a way that a lot, a lot won't. And I see my stock there, so I just want to tell you that I'm endorsed by all the county workers' unions. I'm very proud of that, and I'm asking for your vote on November 6th. Thank you. Do you see a need for major changes to the county's growth ma management comprehensive plan? I'm always concerned about um, any rules, that, especially it seems like it comes from the west side. Um, that affect our property rights here. And um, like he said, they're, they're due for a revision. Um, and I, I, I definitely want to stand in a, in a situation where I'm supporting homeowners um, for their rights. There's always this issue, though, of like, because it's kind of a zoning issue. Um, you move someplace, and you don't necessarily want a pig farm right next to you. You know, if the pig farm's already there, well, you know, to me, it's first come, first serve. But there's there's zoning issues in there, and uh, I'd be anxious to get into the middle of helping revise that. Next question. How will you change the way commissioners do business in Stevens County? That's actually a really easy one for me. Um, because, and part of this isn't their fault, uh, that people don't understand what commissioners do and how important this office is. Um, because of that, people don't go to these meetings a lot. You know, they're at least a couple days a week. Very important meetings that they have that are open to the public. Um, so it's, it's a little bit of everybody's fault in a way. My mission is gonna be to one, I really wanna educate people as to exactly what county commissioners do and exactly what they're responsible for. And I even think about ultimately going to the schools because it kind of starts there. Because they need to understand. You know, it's gonna make every difference in the world someone voting 
for a position that's this important versus a position that they don't understand. Um, I kind of thought from the beginning that I would really like to start a commissioner's corner in the paper that every week you get to hear what has come before the commissioners and what their response to it has been. Um, that way you, you feel a part, you at least know what's going on, and that's probably the most important thing I'd like to do. I encourage you to look me up on Facebook, ask me any questions after this, I'm happy to answer them. I'm looking very much forward to being your next county commissioner, and I'd really appreciate your vote. Thank you.